Well, hello, friends and neighbors. Uh, John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome to my deck. Uh, it's the end of June. And today, day after National Bourbon Day, apologize I didn't get this out for yesterday. But uh, today I'd like to look at two um, iconic, or at least one of them is an iconic bourbon. Uh, that is Eagle Rare versus 10-year-old Bullet. Okay, thanks for staying with me. I will say because I've already reviewed Bullet 10 on the channel, and I don't think I've reviewed Eagle Rare on the channel, this really is an Eagle Rare review, but um, I'm quite aware, and that's why I'm sitting in this spot. Couldn't put the jacket on, it's, it's just too nice a day today. But about two years ago, well, two years in October, we're in June, um, I shot a, a Bullet versus, uh, no, Buffalo Trace versus uh, Bullet video, and it's my most watched video, which, which always surprises me. I feel like uh, quite a noob and I'm just kind of talking my thoughts, but, uh, but many people watch that. So I thought, you know what, since I really want to review Eagle Rare, I better make it another almost comparison between Eagle Rare and, and Bullet, a Buffalo Trace and a Bullet product. So first Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare, uh, if you haven't had it, you know, is really, uh, like I said in the intro, an iconic bourbon. Uh, it is from the Buffalo Trace, you know, the Sazerac Company, now the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Um, and as I hear in the U.S., it's uh, still a good value. I have to say here in Canada, where I am in Alberta, this is almost like, uh, we'll get to whether I think it's a good bourbon or not, uh, but it, it is a little more expensive where I am, so it, it doesn't... Uh, like almost any review you pick or click, if it's in the U.S., talks about how, what a value this is. And I'm not sure it's as much of a value. But here in Canada, uh, it is the same liquid. So Eagle Rare is from Buffalo Trace Distillery. Um, it is their mash bill number one, which is their low rye. They don't release, and I'm not sure why in this day of uh, really transparency and the informed uh, whiskey consumer why, but they don't release the exact value. Uh, people all over the net will say, you know, it's mash bill number one, and that's their low rise. So that is the same mash bill they use for uh, Buffalo Trace, for uh, most of the um, E.H. Taylor, the Colonel uh, releases, Stag, Stag Junior, and Eagle Rare. So it's, it's low rye, less than 10% for sure. Um, and so that just naturally brings up, probably still has around that 5% barley, so really quite a lot of corn in, in this bottle. Um, it just says on the front it says Kentucky straight bourbon, 45%. Uh, on the back now, like it still has a nice age 10 years, so it still carries an age stamp. Doesn't say single barrel anymore, used to say single barrel. Uh, consensus on the net is that they took that away when they went to mechanical bottling because there's that end of one barrel and the beginning of another that's a blend really, so they can't say single barrel anymore. But 10 years old, 45%. Uh, low mash bill. Since I since the title will be comparison, I'm going to switch quick over to Bullet. Bullet is at this point still sourced. I know they have their own distillery, but with the 10 year age stamp and kind of when I bought this bottle, this is still sourced. Uh, where from is a bit of a debate. I still think uh, that this actually came from Four Roses, um, but it is 45.6, uh, so just slightly more alcohol than Eagle Rare. Uh, but also says right in the front, you know, this is, hey, this is a straight a bourbon and it is 10 years. Now it's uh, mash bill is certainly higher rye as much as I think somewhere around like 26% even. So below 10, high rye, 20s, 25, 26%. Uh, so that's gonna maybe have an effect. Let's jump into the whiskey and see what I think about uh, Eagle Rare. Bring it over so you can see it in the shot. Maybe I'm not even sure where the shot is. Uh, nose, you know, I'm outside. It's a warm day, but this is a glass. It should help me with the nose. Um, you know, sweet alcohol, but not ethyl, like not a sharp alcohol, but there's a sweetness with a with a cooked edge to it. So so 
for me, that's a little bit of a, a caramel sweetness. Not as deep as caramel, so maybe a honeyed sweetness. If I'm looking at some fruit in here, it's... Hmm. It's mild. Little cherry, little apple. Yeah, I expected more on the nose. A little bit of cinnamon. Fairly gentle, quite approachable, sweet, um, lightly fruited nose. Now I'll try the bullet. Okay, different nose, right? This is a different animal. Here, uh, it's a mix of of spice, of wooded spice, cinnamon, and and a soured um, apple. Soured cherry, uh, mostly spice, almost in because it's a comparison. Nose, oh, nose in this eagle rare. Uh, as a comparison, nose sweeter, richer, deeper. More approachable. Hey, but now, you know, it pops. It's lively, definitely spicy. A bit of orange. Today, there's something sour in this bullet that I don't really remember really holding on to, but something like just a little more sour. Yeah, a little more honeyed, a little more caramel, a little more. It rolls over the nose easier than the bullet. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Palette is um, still, you know, pretty pretty gentle you know it's I, I mean it's 45% and it's a bourbon it's gonna pick up in your mouth if you're not a whiskey drinker you're not gonna go oh that was really sweet and gentle but if you're a whiskey drinker if you know what you're drinking here it is actually quite gentle and quite quite honeyed and caramel and and um, you know the peppers are, 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 are there but they're they're just just on the edges uh, stays more center center of my palate um, the end of the sip or the beginning of the finish to me gets a little bit at, at, at that I would say a wooded note that in this case tastes a bit like a chocolate. A bit like, a, you know, that cocoa, um, no, but sweeter. So almost a milk chocolate. Um, I, I think other people have said that about Eagle Rare, but I definitely get that um, later in this bourbon. So, but at first, it's really just, you know, kind of honeyed and sweet and a little bit of orange too. Now that I've said it out loud, I'm thinking about that that fruit. So a little bit of citrus, but, but a bolder, older citrus, so a little bit of orange. Uh, definitely a fruit toward apple or maybe more cherry. Um, and um, the, this, the finish, surprisingly short, maybe medium, but but um, I actually find it fades away quicker than I'd expect in a, in a bolder uh, bourbon. So... Let's try a bullet. And I don't know what it is today. I don't remember. The nose really pushing towards how I usually describe a lot of wild turkey products. Like, like it really almost has a, a soured note. Let's give it a taste. So, <laughs> okay. Um, the spice note and the pepper note in bullet picks up really right away. Uh, I, I, I would be, I need to retire if I couldn't pick these off in a blind taste test. They, they really are quite different. Um, are there still some of the, the caramel sweetness? Yeah. Cooked down toffees. Yeah. A little more burnt in this case. Yeah. 
So still bourbons, still lots of corn going on in here. But um, this bullet to me uh, lights up more the edges of my tongue, clearly spicy and peppery. Um, oak is more almost, almost woody. Well, not almost. The oak in this is more pronounced like wood, cut wood, sawdust, that kind of stuff, you know, where you, like, you're like, that's wood I'm, I'm chewing on. Uh, I used to say when I was starting out in bourbon, uh, you know, you had a popsicle and you're chewing on that popsicle stick and then suddenly your mouth is kind of this dry, woody. Yeah, that's, but, you know, here, I don't know, today, marmalade. I don't know what's with the orange today. But still not bad. I like bold, strong, peppery, spicy. Hey, you're drinking bourbon notes. So interesting. Uh, definitely uh, just a, a more rolling nose. And um, while not, neither of these are complex, uh, I think a... Um, a, um, a palette that will appeal to more people um, because it just has more of that uh, like the fruit is more present the spice is a little bit constrained and then the oak comes through not just as wood but as as I said like I think a little into chocolate or really like coffee something like that and I think that gives it a little more depth I hope you can tell in this review already that I, I prefer Eagle Rare um, this this, uh, as you hear, it, it, if you follow anyone in the U.S., is a great deal. So, so in, in the U.S., I hear you can get it for like 20 bucks or something like that. That's ridiculous. You should always have a bottle of Eagle Rare on the shelf. for Oh, Star Value. Uh, I can't recall what I've rated this before. In today's sit-down, this is a very enjoyable bourbon. It hits even to the four, four and a half star range for sure. Uh, this one, just like... Ah, today it's even under four. It's like three and a half. I'm sure I've given it four before, but it's it's like a three and a half today, all the way up to almost a four and a half. It's that's how different they are today. Um, I think if you go online, because way back October 2017th, when I looked at, at BT versus Bullet, I, I showed the distiller. So in trying to stay true to myself, I think distiller uh, gives us like 91 and this 89. Uh, and it's funny because BT and Bullet, they actually give Bullet higher, or they did back two years ago. They might have changed their ratings. Um, in, in this case, uh, I'm in alignment with those experts. I think this is a better bourbon. Maybe I'm being too hard on this. Maybe this gets up on the day if I'm not comparing it to like a four star, but then this has to be a four and a half. Um, I really enjoy Eagle Rare. I think uh, it stands out from Bullet because the same, uh, not Bullet, Buffalo Trace. It's the same mash bill as Buffalo Trace. And Buffalo Trace, uh, you know, online is either like from a six to an eight year old, plays in that range. And this is only 10. You know, it's not aged that much longer, but there's something about the depth of flavor in Eagle Rare that I don't really get in Bullet. Bullet still uh, gives me that honeyed sweetness, the easy drinking and, and a bit of wood on the finish. I like Buffalo Trace. It's a good bourbon and very affordable. Um, but this adds more than just age. And I will say, since I've shot this, uh, you know, this Bullet 10 actually is almost exactly like Bullet. Wow, with a little more wood in it. It's very, it's aged quite differently. It, I, I don't think it's fundamentally different, whereas Eagle Rare tastes a, a little bit like a different bourbon. Um, not wildly different, uh, but... Uh, but nice. So look, uh, today, love the Eagle. I'm okay with the bullet. We're talking four and a half pushing, four to four and a half. And this is under four. Uh, that's my comparison and my thoughts today on the day after National Bourbon Day in the US. Oh, value-wise, that's my problem. In Canada, this sits on the shelf now around like 69, 65, $69. That's a lot of money. This is, this is like $45, like these are, well, 47. 47, 69, I mean, these are, these are, these are 20 bucks apart, which is a significant difference here in Canada. Now, what's soon becoming my favorite liquor store in Alberta, Sierra Springs, just in Airdrie, had this on sale for 49, which is actually why I grabbed it. Um, because that, I, I, in two years, I don't think I've seen this on sale. So that was really nice, guys. Hey, have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me again out here on my deck. 
Uh, I, I hope you're a viewer back from 2017 that you've seen my Buffalo Trace versus Bullet and now we've seen Eagle versus Bullet. Um, that was kind of fun to shoot you guys. Have a great weekend. Oh,